What's happening YouTube? My name is Ryan and today on Tricro Studios we're going to be taking a look at the PV3120 through a Fender American Standard Stratocaster. Before we get into the video, I'd like to bring your attention right here. That's my signal chain. It's also listed in the description down below for this video and each and every one of our videos. That way you always have a chance of looking at what we're using. If you ever have a question on what we're using, how we're using it, why we're using it, anything like that, you can always leave us a comment down below in any of our videos. We love hearing from you guys and it's usually about a 24 hour turnaround time before we actually get back to you. Let's go ahead and uh, plug in. I know it's going to be a little bare bones here, but uh, let's go ahead and plug in here what the 3120 sounds like with this uh, Fender American Standard Stratocaster. I'm just going to first start off on the clean, and I'm just going to quickly go through all of the uh, pickups here. <laughs> So let's go ahead and change things up a little. Um, right now the treble, little one o'clock, same with the middle and the bass is all the way because I really love that sound. I'm gonna add some more treble, add some more mids, and let's see how it goes. <laughs> is just kind of got like a basic clean channel it does sound pretty good to my ears hopefully it does to yours as well but let's dig in and actually get into the uh, rhythm and then we'll hit up the lead and hear what we can kind of do okay so as you can see here we're on the rhythm channel uh, with the lights and everything the 3120 tends to pick up a lot of um, stuff <laughs> So you may hear some buzzing and stuff, um, but I'm on. I have like I'm all the way with the uh, treble. My mids I'm gonna put right halfway, all the way with bass, and my gain is sitting at about two thirty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
see if we can actually turn the gain down and see if we can get a better sound. All right, so we've brought the gain down here. Right now, my treble's sitting at about 5.30-ish, no, 4.30. Uh, my middle is sitting at about two. Bass is still all the way, uh, nope, it's about five, almost all the way. Uh, and my gain is pretty much sitting at uh, nine o'clock, so I brought it way, way down. Uh, but I think you'll find it a lot more pleasing when you're not, you know, just trying to choke up on the game, but like just bring it down. <laughs> sounds a lot better to my ears. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of that setting there. But let's switch over to the lead setting on the amp. Um, kind of getting sick or tired of just uh, soloing. I know that's my doing. Um, but I just find that the single notes and being able to hear some of the bending, you hear more of the amp. Um, so I apologize if you know there's a lot of that. I'm not trying to noodle. It's not that great anyway. But... Um, Let's switch over to the lead setting and see what we can come up with. All right, so here we are on the lead channel. This time around, I want to start out with what I feel is a bit of a better setting for this guitar, and then we'll kind of go a little nuts. Uh, so I'm starting out, the treble is sitting at three o'clock. Uh, the middle is sitting at about 2.30. The bass is sitting at about three. And the gain is at a very healthy 8 o'clock. <laughs> so let's actually hear what that sounds like here on this lead channel. <laughs>
moving up and down and on the pickups and everything, or the different combinations. <laughs> things here just simply on the neck pickup itself I'm sorry I'm a junkie for it on the fenders um, so let's go ahead and hear that sound on the lead and then we'll bring in some craziness <laughs> go ahead and uh, dig into some craziness. Okay, so I believe I've found the craziness that we're looking for here. So I've got my treble almost all the way and my mids are scooped a little. We're sitting at about 11 o'clock. The bass is almost all the way and the gain is set at a healthy 230. So let's hear what that sounds like. And again, like I said, this amp here uh, <laughs> is a little squeaky. I don't know if it needs the needs some work on it or if it's just how it was designed, but I got lights all over the place here. So let's hear what this is gonna sound like. Here we go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too long for you. And hope if you have a Strat and you're looking to pick up the 32, 3120, the 3210, 3120, uh, hopefully this video does help you out. It's a good amp. Uh, some of them need a little bit of work, but if you know someone that can do that kind of stuff, uh, I'm scared to do it myself because I'm pretty sure I'll shock myself to death. But uh, it, these amps are worthwhile picking up. Again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below. Um, thumbs up the video. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Tricro Studios. We've got a new video coming at you every single Saturday morning. And we got a whole bunch of bonus videos coming at you. So don't neglect. Don't you dare miss it. Subscribe today, guys. Thanks for watching.